Travelers. This will be my first Let's Play. We're going to be going through the Lost Crown. It's an adventure game came out, I think it was 2003. For all its flaws, I think it tells a great story. I have a real soft spot for it. Atmosphere is fantastic as well. So, let's just dive right in. Mr. Hare. Mr. Crow. Report! We've lost him, sir. I don't want your excuses. Disappeared into the crowd, sir. Which way was he heading? The station, sir. He has the documents. Danvers has seen and heard too much. He knows about the chasm and d -labs. Could have seen the experiment. How? The firewalls are proof. To those on the outside, yes. Ah, uh, he's one of us. Perhaps I could think of a better purpose for Mr. Downs. Shall I get after him, Mr. Hatton? We'll be catching the last train. Which platform, sir? There is still time. No. Leave him be. I know which train he's on. And I know where he's going. Where, sir? Where is he going? <laughs> he's going nowhere, Mr. Crow. Nowhere at all. Hmm. That's our unseen antagonist. As you can probably tell, it is a horror game. Point and click adventure. There's something about the Darkling Ruin games, like I played Dark Fall, this one. Although this one I've never actually finished, I've always gotten up to the last chapter. But for some reason or another, I've never actually finished it. Something's always come up, or the computer's crashed, or something. But I really, I really enjoyed Dark Fall. The Dark Falls series. Jonathan Burks, that's the guy. Apparently been making a sequel to this game for years now, but nothing's ever come about it. It's perpetually coming soon. The Lost Crown. So, yes. As you can notice there, with the dragonfly, the whole game's designed in a way, it's a partial colour. See so the blue flowers in the corner there as well. I don't know, I think it just adds to the whole ambience and it's just... I just, I just love it. So anyway, here we are. Would you like the tutorial? No. We're not going to play the tutorial. So there we are. Last stop, Mr. Danvers. How do you know my name? You told me. In between kips. Kips? You mean I woke up? Oh yes, I should say so. Quite chatty you were. So this is Nigel Danvers here. This is our protagonist, mild mannered, uh, mild mannered IT professional turned hacker turned ghost hunter. This is who we'll be playing out throughout the game, and as you'll you'll soon see, he does a great William Shatner impression. Uh, That's an impressive old tree. Oh, sir, it may be lacking a little polish here and there. But this old girl hasn't let us down yet. The tourists must love it. And your outfit. Outfit, sir? I see. Reenactment or something. You've lost me, Mr. Danvers. Was there something else? 
And this is one of the things that the game does as well. Somehow it sets up the, the town, Saxton, which we'll see soon. It's sort of in this weird time pocket. It's The game's set in the modern day, 2000 and something, but the whole town, they just... It's like they're locked in a... I don't even know how to explain it, and the game doesn't really explain it. Unless, of course, it is at the end of the game, which I have never got to. Hopefully that gets explained for me, because I've wondered that for a, a while now. A fair few years. Let's have a look. Did you see anybody else board the train at London? Did you Only see you anybody else and the young on the lady. train at London? Young Spark. lady? A girl? Yeah, that's right. Unless I've been getting it wrong all these years. Where did she get off? Well, here of course. Sedgemarsh. Where did she go? I've seen no other passengers. Through the fens, I'm guessing. Fancy your chances, do you? I resent that remark. Do you now? Well, that's interesting. Have we been here long? It was midnight when we left London. <laughs> oh, the dialogue. Right. Bang on Voice time. acting's a bit... There's Erky. nothing here. What am I supposed to do? Maybe Sir should have thought about that before boarding. Usually, usually it's just season, Nigel. That we would me. continue on, but the spring tide flood the fen, meaning said marsh is our last stop. What time does the train leave? Spock. No passengers for the return journey. What? You can hardly leave me here. You'd rather end up at the terminus, sir. I'll return shortly. Spot. Very well, Mr. Danvers. Okay, so let's have a look around the station, huh? Oopsie days. <coughs> and there's our destination Saxton. A town? The town of Saxton? Actually modelled after a real place in Cornwall, uh, Polperro, I believe. If I ever go to Europe, I'm gonna try and stop there somehow. The Bear, Bishop's Whisper, Fenlandale. Mysterious. So even the, look, the design. I mean, look at these signs. So it's modern yet we're in some sort of, some there's gotta be some sort of time pocket. So look here behind the station. these signs in partial colour. It's just... Um, the ambience is perfect, I think. I have no idea where this leads. Hmm. If it leads anywhere at all. Oh. This could be my last chance. Talk to the station master again. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can I help you? I don't know. I was hoping that you could. Could what, sir? <sighs> yeah. Where does the path lead? Saxton, sir. Across the fen. Why doesn't the train go there? The floods, Mr. Danvers. I did say. During the spring, the line ends here, at Sedge Marsh. Can I get to Saxton on foot? Oh, easily, sir. Follow the path through to Saxton. 
big town, is it? Phone, food, a bed? Big enough. You'll find all you need. A little treasure it is. Treasure? Why do you say that? You'll know soon enough. I see. Very well. I'll see for myself. That you will. Oh, seeing as you're heading that way. What? I found this on the train. The young lady must have dropped it. Oh, Robert. That was clumsy. What can I do? Well, if you're quick, we'll catch her up in no time. I'll try my best. So long. Um, I didn't catch your name. No, that's right. You didn't. Station Master will do. Oh, goodbye, Station Master. Goodbye, Mr. Danvers. As we're going to see, every character in this game is strange like that. You seem to know what... You know, Nigel's... You seem to know his destiny. It's just... I don't know. They don't do a very good job of explaining it, but then again, like I said, I haven't played to the end. Okay, Sedge Marsh. Here we are, the friends. Day one, on the run. Blast! My curiosity strikes. Again. Picking at the hidden secrets has cost me my job, and at the very least. Time to lay low. Find somewhere to hide. Find Spock. Okay, find somewhere to stay, somewhere isolated, lonely, far from home. Well, you can tick that one off. Explain to Haddon, beg if need be. I need to get hair and crow off my back. Make sure I'm not followed. Oh, we fucked up. We fucked up. Okay. Let's have a hook see here. Natter Jack Toad. I wonder if these are real animals. Well, the heron's real. Hmm. Poison the skin and a loud croak. Often heard far as half a mile away. The Natter Jack is a distinctive beast of the fens, coastal regions of this area. This rare species is protected by the crown. Go on. So here's the map. So, to the trains, London and beyond. So we're here. Sea path closed due to erosion. We can go around. It's, it's closed. Either way, we gotta head here. So, go to crossroads. Let's go this way. Check out that erosion path. Excuse me. Quiet, man. You'll scare him away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Quiet, man. You'll scare him away. Really into his bird watching? What's he looking at? What's oh, a heron? Oh, that's cool. This little icon here means we can use an item here. I doubt we have anything here. Oh, look at the files. Oh, this project dark ball. Connection. Had an industries D lab experiments case file project dark ball. Reported submitted. Report submitted by Mr. Hare. April showers. The chasm ripped open at the shadow time, confirming our estimations. Crow operated the energy feed, and I observed from the gallery. Staring into the chasm revealed forms within the swirling clouds of pure dark energy. Could they be organic? life forms, or just phantom forms adrift within this, that sea of supernature. I can swear that many of the forms seem to take on an almost humanoid shape, with arms reaching out, as if hoping to be dragged from the chasm, and pulled into our world. If true, I fear that could never be allowed. What terrible effect would such an action have on our world? Mr. Haddon is due to revisit the lab later this afternoon. I can only hope that the forms reappear when we open the chasm. He will know what to do. Our technology needs this research. 
We are so close to seeing into the world beyond the chasm. What will lie there? On the other side. Okay. What's this? Oh god. System log. Must be the must be the log of what we pulled. Login request and the manager. God. Must be the more more log files. Ooh. Pictures alive. That must be the chasm. So you see little cool stuff like this. This is a ghost hunting adventure, and we'll get we'll get up to that. Get up to it in this video, but that's part of the game I really love the ghost hunting mechanics. I, I love it. Collecting all that evidence and reviewing it later really sucks you into the game. Cool. That's it. That's our ID card. Hmm. I don't think I'll be returning to work anytime soon. Probably not, mate. Hmm. What's this? Your work number. Who's this? Lucy Rubens. No college base name here. From Sedgemarch to Sedgemarch. It's a weird ticket. Find her. This is our journey. Go. Nothing but the North Sea. Next stop, Norway. Ominous. Mm -hmm. Let's head back. Don't know if you guys can hear that, but that, that was a truck that just drove past my house. Really obnoxious. Sorry about that if, you, if it makes its way into the video. Symbolic like images or ancient graffiti. Okay, let's try over here. Lucy oh, that must that's the I should find the owner of the wallet. Oh, okay. And you're sure she's not that way? Because that's that tower, I'm pretty sure I saw on the map going to Saxon. Alright. Who am I to argue with the game? Soundtrack. Oh my god, the soundtrack, I love it. It's clunky, blocky. Beautiful all the same. I'm glad we did that. 
went the wrong way because we got that sign piece. So, no. Oh. God damn it. That's what we need to do. Not sure about this exact tower. Just looking at the brick there, could be. But this game is actually made by photographs of the locations of the game. So Paul Perro for Saxon. I don't know if it was Jonathan Burks himself, but he or someone on the creation team for this game actually went to the place, took photos, and made the game from that. So you, get, you see a lot of scenes in this game that look really blocky and a lot that just look amazing and that's why. Is that the tower I just looked at again? Or? No, I'm looking at the red light. Oh. Hello! Hello! Forgive me if I ramble on, guys. This is my first video. I just don't know what to do with myself, but I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, so here's the sign we need to fix. So we've got two, three, we need one more piece. I think from memory it is around here. Yes. idea where this leads. I have no idea where this leads. Let's go back. So there's a little cave we're gonna go through, but we're gonna fix this sign first. It's our first little puzzle. Really finicky. There we go. And that doesn't need Dangerous to... undercurrents. Ooh, I should take that as a warning. To watch my step from now on. The sign doesn't even match up. You call that salt dampers. Ugh. What on earth is that? Yeah, it sounded alive. Treasure hunters descend on sleepy town of well, sleepy Saxon town. Ancient coast ravaged by spring tides. Hundreds of archaeology enthusiasts, treasure hunters, tomb robbers, and wreck explorers are due to descend upon the small Anglican town of Saxon this coming week. Coastal erosion caused by the spring high tides has caused many acres of Anglican land to fall into the sea, lost forever. Ancient earth is lost to the waves, as more of the land is exposed to the elements and greedy treasure hunters. There's treasure out in those fens. 
waiting to be found, says visiting metal detector enthusiast Laurie Stone. Oh God, Laurie, sorry about that voice I gave you, Laurie. Stone is one of only one of many glory seekers hoping to find the lost Anglo-Saxon crown, believed to be the last of three such treasures created thousands of years ago for the ancient rules of the kingdom. Treasure or no treasure. The spring tides and the May Day Festival always bring many to the small harbour town in search of legend, mystery and mythology. It's always good for business. We have regulars who come back year after year for the May Day Fair with the possibility of finding and with his treasures, says Saxon publand Lady Morgan Menkel. <sighs> yeah. Sounds like she sounds like she's from Twin Peaks. Anglica has an ancient and fascinating history with confirmed history. No, no, I'm reading that right. Anglica has an ancient of, an ancient and fascinating history with confirmed history dating back to the Celts. Many experts, including Saxon's own Professor Hardacre, believe many of the later Anglo-Saxon treasures have yet to be found. Oh, interesting. God, I remember this. This is a really, really creepy scene here. So this little bike, this kid, really not doing a good job of grabbing his teddy bear with that stick. God, look at the way he's standing. So, okay, okay. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna ruin. You'll, you'll find out in a minute. It's just a really creepy scene. I remember feeling a bit disturbed by it. It was, oh, it's great. I love it when games do that. Scene. Let's talk to this lady. What's up with him? Ah, oh, here you are. Excuse me? I'm sorry, I should have said good evening. <laughs> nice save, lady. can't really see it from here. You can see it in the previous screen. There it is, right there. You can see where the mouse is. Look at that. What is that? In the water? A tree stump, I think. Very cool shape. It could almost be a small body, couldn't it? I don't know. It's too far away. Yes. Also, I don't know if this has any significance. It could almost be oh. a child's body. What? We should... Anyway, what was this? Yeah, okay, so I don't know if this has any significance at all, but I did notice this. If you look down on the beach here on the sand, I mean, well, check out old mate's little paw prints here. Now, his owner has no footprints behind her. Then again, neither does Nigel, but. I don't know, I just thought that, oh, this is weirding me out a bit when I saw that. Anyway, let's go to Is Saxton near here? You are standing on Saxton shore. So yes, you could say you've arrived. <laughs> At last, I had to walk across the Fenland. Last train Stop never moving. arrived in Saxton. Why is that? I have no idea, dear boy. Saxton is an isolated town. I expected to arrive at Saxton Station. High tides flood the fens, and no one can enter or leave the town. How do you cope? Cope? Cope with what? You know, emergencies and the like. Oh, I see. Oh, we cope. Yes, we cope very well. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> that last line from Nigel. Just sums it up, doesn't it? I'm seeking bed and board in the town. That's the bear fine. is most likely to provide what you need. A bear? Oh, you mean a hotel? No, I mean the bear. You can't miss him. He'll be swinging tonight. I'm sorry. 
little tip at me, I'm teasing you. You shall see. <laughs> I think... okay. I'll just be over at Eagle. I am a treasure hunter. Well, well, no, there's a I thing. I just found thing. out there was treasure I'm here. I'm seeking my fortune. Yes, you are. <laughs> For about five the minutes others. you're seeking your fortune. Oh, uh, not even five minutes. The Mayday tides bring many to Saxton. Why is that? High tides eat away at the rocks, cliffs and sandbanks. The low tides expose that which has been hidden. Like ancient treasures? Hmm, perhaps. That and people's fortunes. And futures. Mm. I'm Nigel, by the way. Yes, Mr. Danvers, I'm sure you are. Oh. Am I expected? Oh, yes. For some time now, yeah. you may change it all. Time will tell. See, this is the thing. It's They're locked in time. He has something to do with... Like, he's, he's this prophecy or something. It's very... It's very Doctor Who, actually. May I ask you something else? Oh, feel free, young man. Sorry, guys, got a phone call there. Had to take that. Where were we? Is that your dog? Yes. George and I have been companions for many, many years. A woman's best friend? No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, come on, that's your dog. I'll leave you in peace. Very well, I'll be seeing you again. See you later. Okay. So we've talked to her. Now, what I was talking about that little kid before. Huh? Child's body? Now, that kid could have got his teddy bear and rode home, but something tells me... A little bit more to it than that. It's just an eerie sight. Okay, Saxon Shore. Welcome to Saxon, everyone. Here we go. So this is Saxon. Hmm, what's this? What's this? Cat watch. Missing. I'll make a note. So, yeah. Cats have been going missing around Saxon for the past couple of weeks here, apparently. I'll come into it later. And there's the bear. Look, swinging tonight. The creaky sign says, the bear. Guess this can be our first stop. Let's try and book a room. Ah, uh, yes. Here, talking to the... I think this is the Mankle lady, the landlady. Sort of confirms my suspicions, like just with the dialogue here about the time pocket theory with the lost crown. Um, excuse me, can you help? Let's just listen to this. Good afternoon, stranger. What can I get you? I'll take a bottle of uh, still water. Here we go. We'll start with introductions. Pardon me, but uh, who are you? Me? I'm Morgan, the landlady of the bear, and have been for a few years now. And you are? Nigel. Nigel Danvers. You'll be in for quite a week. Ha! Huh. Right. Can I rent a room for a week? All our guest rooms are taken. Busy time, May. So there's nothing you can offer? Well, there is the cottage on the harbour, if that suits you. Well, I'll take anything you have. It's clean, but a bit cluttered. I'm none too fussy. I'm sure it will be fine. I hope you don't mind the sounds and briny smells. Is it nearby? It's right on the harbour, surrounded by water. Perfect. What do I owe you? We can settle up when you leave. 
That's if you leave us, Mr. Danvers. Creepy. Here's the keys and a map of the town. I'll just pass over that little comment. Okay, so... Is May a busy time for Saxton? Yes, you could say that. Local events? The Saxton May Day Fair is famous in these parts. You'll be in for quite a week. Does the pub have a phone? Afraid not. Wouldn't be in keeping with the place. Is there a payphone in town? Yes, across the harbour, over the bridge and up Station Lane. It's got that. Now, hang on. Okay, I think I just got a bit ahead of myself, but there is dialogue with this lady, which we'll see later. Nigel asks, what year, it, what year is it? And Morgan replies, what a question, but doesn't bring reference to it. So Nigel is a bit suspicious, but I think that comes later. I'll catch you later. Perhaps. Anyway, so we've got the keys to our place. Right the key there. to Harbour Cottage. Bot a bottle of water. A bottle of water. And here's the map. So. Your Finland Harbour. There's Harbour Cottage. So we are... So it's in two harbours. It's not specific. Okay. So we're at the bear here. So it's just up the laneway, there's Harbour Cottage there. There's the phone box. I don't think we can access that part of the town on the first day though. Alright. Take a look around. Some art. An old painting. Or a copy of one. I'd say it's a copy. At nine o'clock. Hmm. I wonder what the significance of nine o'clock is. Ah, I remember this. So there's a photography competition. Ah, uh, okay. So with that heron before in the fens, where we could look through that little that little box where the bird watcher was. We can actually take a photo of that when we get a camera later, so we can... I'm, I don't know if it's necessary to beat the game, I think it's just an optional extra, but it's a bit of fun, just trying to get the best photos. Anyway, we'll take that and be on our way. Chuck out our new digs. I'm just going to try talking to her one more time, just after I've viewed the look Hello at the clock, again. so... Good afternoon, stranger. What can I get you? No. Alright. I'll go. catch you later. Perhaps. It's all the same dialogue. Let's go. Okay. this guy is up to. Hello there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Friendly. Oh, exactly. What are you up to? What are you up to? On holiday, actually. And, and you? Work. I'm a writer. A journalist for the local rep. <laughs> the local I'm guessing writer. not much happens around here. You'd be surprised. It's a foggy night. This fog hides many things. Bit of glitch with the dialogue. Like treasure? Ah, uh, another glory seeker. Not exactly. I'm not sure what I'm seeking. I'll see you around. You will. Trust me. Ominous. So, oh yeah, all this is f photo, photographs. It's all photos from the actual place. You boy! Heartache is a hard ass. You, boy, what are you doing? Loitering? <laughs> I'm staying nearby. You are uh, loitering. I was walking. This town attracts all sorts of freaks and losers. 
at this time of year. I can tell. What's so special about this time of year? Oh dear, not too bright, are you? Had much experience of geology, have you? Well, no, not really. I've always thought that, uh... How about archaeology? Uh, no, but I'm willing to learn. Do you believe this county conceals hidden treasures? I do. Whether we find them is another matter. This land is old and steeped in blood and horror. The landscape around us has been witness to the fall of kings and death in plague-sized proportions. Time and turmoil can see some items misplaced. They are there for us to find if you know where to look. I'm keen to find the treasure. Where's the best place to start? Well, that's an easy one. Leave town, walk back across the fens to the station. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm with you so far. Get on a train and clear off back to London ASAP. You are a I dick. can't do that, Mr... Hardacre. Professor Hardacre. Famed archaeologist. Perhaps you've heard of me. No. My journey was a one-way trip. Ah. Oh. Who are you, mate? Where do you get off? This seems a uh, good town in which to disappear. Not a sus On the run, all. are we? No. Just laying low for a while. Yep. I suggest That's what you making want to do. peace with Tell who everyone you're you're running about. from and getting back to your own little world. You could be right. I can but try. I'm not going back to London empty-handed. So be it. Enjoy your stay. Oh, I will. I will. So that was Professor Hardass, Acre. Bit of a douche, actually. So, this is it. This is our home sweet home for the next week. Check it out. Oh, no. This place is a dump. I guess it'll have to do. For now. It's got a certain charm to it. Time to have a look around. Oh. Come on. Help. Where's the health inspector? This is meant to be a part of the hotel. Home sweet home. For the time being. Just picturing the smell. Alright. Um. Just check in here first. It's our glorious bathroom. The master bathroom. Complete with. Well, complete. Oh, God. Won't be using that toothbrush, and I think. Oh, that's lovely. Mm, yeah. Let's check the kitchen. Review on Yelp for this one. The Bear, one star. Crabtree Estates, buying selling options, land management. So, this must be 50,000 pounds. Jesus. Oh, the 80s, that explains it. Harbour Cottage, Saxon and Bear. It's delightful Harbour Side Cottage. 
which will be offered at auction in nearby Rendlesburg on the 7th of November 1988. Offers over 50,000 pounds are expected. Location. Perched on the very edge of Saxton Quay, Harbour Cottage offers great views of the working harbour front. From that map it looked pretty tight to me, but okay. And the coast path and open sea to the rear. With water surrounding the building on three sides, the cottage often feels at sea, bobbing up and down on the ocean. The cottage is ideally placed within the heart of the town with access to Saxon Shore. The bare restaurant and bar as well as the shops near the museum and train station. So this is a little real estate ad. That we can look at in here. Yeah, it automatically comes up. Oh no. History. Harbour Cottage is now available for the death of the previous owner. Edward Molino, previously Eduardo de Molino, before settling in England from Spain in the 1950s. Please note that the cottage needs substantial modernization and redecoration. Okay, so, 1988, I'm assuming this is in the 2000s, that guy even had a smartphone. So, well, that, that reporter. So, just trying to work out what the hell time this town sort of locked in to one of the biggest mysteries to me. I, I know I've been dwelling a lot on it, but it just bothers me. It's just one of those things that just, it's like, what is happening here? And it just eats at me, but we'll continue. Anyway, where were we? Yeah, the, please note the cottage needs substantial modernization and redecoration to meet bridge standard of rental accommodation if planning to lease or rent. <clears throat> yeah. The walls are in excellent condition, given the, given the harborside location. Local surveyors have often marveled at the resilience of the cottage, stating it's as if the place looks after itself. Some walls date back to the 17th century, with the main upper room supported by timbers salvaged from the doomed ships of the Spanish Armada. The building was used as a storage house for boats and goods over three centuries, with basic living accommodation above. Many fishermen from home and abroad will have slept in the upper levels after seeking safe harbour in the town. Ownership. Harbour Cottage is often offered as a freehold with rights and responsibility to the arm of Saxon Key, which fronts the flanks of the building. Private ownership was granted to Edward Molina in the mid-50s, when the use of the building was changed from mixed commercial to a private dwelling. Molina planned to make the cottage at Saxon his home, inviting his wife to join him from southern Spain. Sadly, tragedy followed, leaving the cottage empty for three decades. With no family interests or claims to ownership, the cottage is now returned to the Saxon Guild. So, Edward's wife... Edward and his wife died, leaving the place abandoned, huh? Interesting. No one has been through there for decades. Back door. Partial colour on the artwork on the walls. It's brilliant. There's something about this wall. Something not quite right. Um, look at the map. Is that fire or water damage? March 14th, 1952. The cottage is ready. I could never have believed the old, this old storehouse could look so charming. The view from the window is truly delightful. Who would have thought such a humble building could offer so much? The carpenters of Saxon have followed my instructions well. Even the door frames have small windmill motifs, which Christina is sure to find charming. I count the minutes until her arrival. Okay. Excuse me. March 23rd, 1952. Christina arrived this afternoon. It's wonderful to have her here in Harbour Cottage, at last. Saxon welcomed her. Still, she seemed unsure of the place. I'll we'll have to introduce her to the others as soon as possible. 
It's important that she warms to the place as I intend for us to stay here for many, many years. March 24th, 1952. The locals have taken to her, as I hoped they would. We celebrated Saxon's newest arrival with drinking, dancing and singing within the warm panelled rooms of the bear. Christina wishes to continue her work as soon as possible. This is a wonderful sign. If she can sew, stitch and weave, then I know she'll be content to live here, in this old town, with me. March 28th, 1952. Four days later, Christina is sick. Something we ate, she said. But I ate the same as she. I've put her to bed and disturb her sleep only to bring water. My work will take me away from the town for several days, but can I leave her? A strange face in a strange town? No. I'll have to stay by her side. Her beautiful hair's begun to thin. I've kept this news from her. It can do no good. Wow, in four days? That's not something you ate, honey. The other pages appear to be blank. Hmm. That's very odd. Okay. Eduardo de Molina, 1952. So that's the previous owner's journal we found. Hmm. Interesting. Well, what happened to Christina? Can't even remember, actually, to be honest. It'll be good to find out again. Alright, let's check in here. Empty. Got a little phone here. The phone line is silent. It must be disconnected. Check upstairs. Oh, what's this? Oh, little windmill motifs. There's a windmill. Oh, that's that is interesting. Into the wood. There's a little upstairs landing. Check the view. What was that sound? Hang on. Someone's banging up here. That's our view. Oh, the view is charming. Okay. Something's banging up here. Oh, okay. There you go. That's what you want. It's a cat. There's a goddamn cat in there. There's someone in there. Uh... I'm gonna get you out um, somehow. Check the cupboard. This is the perfect place. Oh, yeah, we don't want to carry that around with us. Solve our little cat problem here. An empty photo. There's money on the table too. Northfield stag donated to the bear by Frederick Agar. Oh, we got a key. Let's see if that opens it. Let's say it would. Don't worry. There's someone in there. I'm gonna let you out. Just don't freak out. Huh. 
That's strange. Creepy, huh? See, so yeah, this this is the sort of stuff this game does. It's the first time you play it, it it's like wow, it, it really really gets you going. You know, if you can look past the floors, if you can look past the dialogue. It's a little ghosty moments like this. It makes it one of a kind, really. I don't really know of any other ghost hunting adventure games. If there is any, I would love to know because I've always had an interest in that paranormal stuff and. I think this game just does it really well, especially when we start getting up to the actual science, the actual investigation work in this game, because we're at the very start at the moment, we haven't got any of our equipment. But once we do, the game gets really fun. Now, I'm not sure, I, don't, I think this is where the day might end. Um, I'll try going to sleep, because that's usually how you end the day in this game. Yep. Watch Nigel sleep. That's creepy. Who <laughs> the hell just lets themselves in? Okay. Here we go, night one, first impressions. The cottage is a dump. Really depressing. Filthy. Derelict. But beggars can't be choosers. And the place does have, well... It's hard to explain. I think it may be haunted. Okay, here's our little objectives for tonight. Track down the girl from the train. Learn what I can from her wallet. Explore the town after nightfall. Learn more of the legend of the three Anglo-Saxon crowns of Anglia. What is the lost crown? Dig out some info on Harbour Cottage. There must be a story or two. Who was that old woman on the beach? How did she know my name? And beg like a, beg like a little bitch to have him. Yeah, that's creepy. Um, yeah, there's room service and then there's that. Okay, I, don't, I would hate to wake up to that. So we heard someone knocking. Can't really see much from the window anyway. They left a note. I'd say they have, Something Nigel. I'd say they have. Mr. Dampers, I'm deeply sorry about the state of the cottage. It's so neglected. No one stayed for a while. It's practically forgotten. My brother bought the place at auction back in the 80s with plans to turn it into something special, but after buying the place, well, kind of fell out with it. He had a bad accident on the stairs. Oh, come on. I've had, a f I've had a bit of a clean up and lit some candles. There's no electricity to the main rooms. Rats have made meals of the cabling long ago. As for the kitchen, it's useless. I've had a word with Uncle Slaughter, who owns the Lighthouse Cafe. Uncle Slaughter. Uncle Slaughter, is that his first name? Or... He says you can dine there for free. I'm also refunding half the tariff, which you can settle up later in the week. It's a long time since anyone stayed in this old cottage, so I wish you well. Morgan Mankle, Landlady of the Bear. P.S. Give the local competition a go. Leaflet attached. So that's the Saxon Snapper article, which I took from the pub already. So that's cool. Who is that? Can't even see anyone in that window. It's too dirty. I like how he puts his, his vest and hat on before he answers the door. There's no one here though. 
Oh, look at that. I love, I love this. Just love the atmosphere. Heartache, huh? What? Who is that? Maybe I think he, I think that's just the fog, but God, he looked like an apparition then. Maybe he was. Who knows? That's the fun. I'll lose him if I don't pick Stop up the train. To yourself, mate. Must find out what he's up to. Mr. Hardacre, you're a hard man to follow. Not I nearly lost you. Not interested. I've brought you here for a reason, and one reason only. I want you to leave Saxton at your first convenience and never hey, who are come you? back. What? Now look here. You, tell you him, can't Nigel. order people about. I'm no threat to you, like you pointed out. I know nothing about geology or archaeology. That's not the half of it. There's mystery and danger involved. You know nothing about this town or the land around it. So, is that a crime? It takes skill, understanding and a strong mind to find what's hidden out there in the fence. It's an old land which can be unforgiving to those who blunder in with their eyes closed and their chins wagging. Danger? What I danger? am the danger. It's as I thought, no, nothing. Yet. He is the danger. Hardacre is the danger. Mr. Hardacre. <gasps> Hardacre is the one who knocks. Oh my God! To warn you, take that cottage. Harbour cottage, but you'll be staying in. Know much about it, do you? You know I don't. It's a small place, a bit stuffy, but nice enough. Listen out, tonight, as you're drifting into sleep, listen for the sounds. Sounds? What sounds? Are you saying the cottage is haunted? You'll know soon enough. They always do. An old man? An old land? Some parts of our land have seen great things. Others have seen murder, disease, and disaster. If you look close enough, you can see the signs. A landscape can seem empty and desolate when the sun sets low and the wind chills the blood. But the land is never empty. It echoes with the voices of those that have gone before. Pagan warrior kings, great gods, and fearsome beasts. Keep your eyes and ears open, and you'll know soon enough. What are the fates? An ancient world of murky waters and whispering reeds. They surround us on all sides. Traffic is here, on a ledge so somewhere. to speak. Take a walk tomorrow morning out across the shore, through the Fenland Eye. The Fens will be waiting, like those who dwell there. They are always waiting. And where is the treasure? Where is the treasure? Oh dear, oh dear. You didn't really think it would be that easy, did you? Things that are lost are waiting to be found. But... What of those precious items that have been hidden, stashed away, for good reason? Should we go looking for treasures we are not supposed to find? You are talking nonsense, Mr. Hardacre. 
Nonsense, is it? Well, we shall see. Watch your back, Danvin. Not everyone in this town is as accommodating as myself. There are those who won't take too kindly to you digging up what should lay buried. That's enough questions, Danvers. If you insist on staying, think on what mm. I have said. <laughs> just, just a lad. lad. Be careful what you go looking for. Good night. Good night, Mr. Hardacre. God damn that guy. What a douche. Alright. What's this little plaque say? Harbour wall built rebuilt eighteen forty seven. The reconstruction of Sefton's precious harbour wall was made possible through the generous donations made by Frederick Ager, Northfield. There's Frederick Ager again. Okay. Guess we should take a look around the town. Visit the bear shop. Oh, okay, he's going. Hmm, what's this? Ah! It's that journal, Alex Spitmods, the journal. Subject worries sent from. sent today. 4 or 5 p.m. Contact and address book. It's becoming difficult to avoid you around town. I'm not sure how long I can keep up this charade. I'm sure we'll find the culprit, but please be careful. We know nothing about what this person is capable of. Chill back. Mm. Oh. A new face arrived in town. 1723. Stranger calls himself. Danvers. Overheard Danvers booking Harbour Cottage from Morgan Mankel in the Bear. Danvers entered Harbour Cottage. Has yet to leave. What's he up to? So Danvers looking out of the window. He looks lost, confused, tired. Danvers retired to bed. The spy lives by the harbour. Someone must know more. Hmm. Is he a journalist? Um, have you noticed it's a hat and phone? Coincidence. Let's put it back where we left. Who leaves their phone there? He must have got pissed. Those bottles are all probably his. We've all been there. You leave your phone at the pub. Oh, you're on a surveillance job, though. Hello again. What can I get you? I'll catch you later. I'll catch you later. Yeah, I think Let's explore. If I go this way, it just takes me back to the cottage. Hey, hello there. Hello up there. Oh, hello up there. Oh, good evening to you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Fixing this here bunting to the building. Why? Is there a celebration, do you? Where you been hiding? There's maybe around, around the corner. The corner. Saxton's, a Saxton's a quiet town. Well, if you say so. <laughs> That's the way he says. It's got this seedy underbelly. Could you fix the electricity at Harbour Cottage? Gone again, is it? Damn wiring. Is that a no? Hey, for now. No, it's all right. I guess I'll let you get on with it. I'll let you get on. Maybe I'll come <laughs> he quicker. Just, um, he just asked a complete stranger if he could fix the wiring at the cottage. I just realised that. He didn't even know he's an electrician or anything. He just... Oh, God. Hey, he's a cat. Okay. Yeah, so if you come here during the day... Now to find a phone box. A phone handle. Time to make a 
Yeah, so if you come here during the day, I didn't I didn't come here before. But there's boats like this one just laid across. You can't actually access this part till the night time, so. Um if we look at our map, we're here. The phone box is off to the right, so let's head off to the right. That is one of my favorite. You could be fine for that, you know. Excuse me? Pasting posters? Fly posters? It's illegal, isn't it? I have no idea. Is there something you want? Are you lost? Actually, I have something of yours. Oh, really? And what's that? Your wallet. Here, take it. Oh, um, thanks. I didn't mean to I snap. don't blame you. This guy just walks up in the, in the middle of the night. Uh, this is one of the, this is one of my favourite screens of the game. The black and white with the red phone box, partial colour. Uh, I just love that. So it's great. It's just a great scene. God, I've said that a lot in this video. So, what's the poster for? Take a look. Hmm. Ruben's Fair. Huh. Oh dear, are the freaks coming to town? You could say that. I'm Nigel, by the way. Nigel Danvers? I'm Lucy. Wah, wah. Lucy Rubens. Ah, Awkward. Uh, I see. Yep. Part of the fair? Oh god, yep. that's painful. I'm that one of the painful. freaks. I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Too late. Let's be, let's be more creepy. I saw you. I was Out in the you. Uh, reed fence. You mean the fens? Fens? What's the origin? It's Anglo Saxon. For a swamp, or marsh, or bog. Quagmire, perhaps? Same to you, too. Oh, a I comedian. That was funny. Um. So, are you local? I was, but I only returned for the holidays. You must know the surrounding area very well. Not really. I tend to stay in town. I have my studies. Ah, what do you study? Psychology. What do you mean? Really? You're a nut so job. what do you make of me? You are desperate, insecure, and seeking phantom treasures. How did you know that? Ah, pretty obvious, is it? Uh-huh. I'll leave you to uh, yes. paste your posters. See you around, After sunshine. That display. Grovel to our boss. Ooh. Hmm, what's this? Alex Spitmore, press pass. Seek the truth, find the answer. Hmm. Alright, um. So we need. Where's he? Yeah, this one. It's called work. I want to speak to Happy. And why would Mr. Happy want to speak to you? I have something to say. To make a deal. My dear Mr. Danvers, what could you possibly offer me? Haddon? Speaking. Oh God, just picturing him not in his stomach. Leave me alone. I didn't see anything. So call off your dogs. Mr. Hare and Mr. Crow have your welfare in mind, Nigel. Well, they won't find me. I've left the city. Yes. How are you oh, finding oh, Saxton so far? Shit. That phone box looks a little uh, old-fashioned. What? How did you? Are you still spying on me? Oh, Nigel. That's a little rich. I didn't intend to intend hack to your files. Like you didn't intend to print off some copies. What is that stuff, anyway? 
The future, dear boy, and the past. We have the technology. We can rebuild him. As you know. What do you want from me, Mr. Hen? Nothing and everything. A few little tasks. Involving the paranormal. I'm not a lab rat, Hen. That's exactly what you are, Nigel. A rat in a trap. Help us with our research. You won't go unrewarded. Where are Hare and Crow? They've lost your scent, Nigel. You need not worry. Tell me about the research. Ah, I knew you'd show an interest. You can help us, Nigel. I'm not a scientist, Had yet, nor a ghost hunter. Paranormal research can require very little, Nigel. I have nothing. Except the clothes that I stand in. Scry. I beg your pardon. Scry is an ancient art. You only need water and a mirror. What do I do? Is it dangerous? It can be. Pour the water down the mirror and watch. And wait. You may be surprised by the results. We often are. We? You practice this scrying in the lab? Yes, with amazing results. Just believe and look deeply. The ghost hunters of old showed great ingenuity. How do you know where I am? How do you know where I am? I know everything about you, Nigel. Checked in on Facebook. How tell. comforting. What happens next? Await my gift. It was dispatched this afternoon. How did you know where, uh... Where you'd stay, like I said. You know everything. What's the gift? You will see. Not all is as it seems. Keep that in mind. These experiments, am I in any danger? Would you like me to lie? No, but, uh, I've always suspected that... Life should be more interesting, more exciting. I hate my job. I'd do anything to get away. This could be your big break, Nigel. I see you as... How can I put this? A little bit of an investment. So, I'm forgiven for snooping. Curiosity and ingenuity oh, I do not should trust. be rewarded. Good night, Mr. Haddon. Mr. Mr. Don't trust Haddon. Good night, Mr. Danvers. Good hunting. I hate my job. This is the 80s job, he gets a promotion. Why, why can't life be that easy? Okay, a pawn in Haddon's game. So, Haddon sees me as an investment, eh? Part of a larger experiment. So be it. He wants me to experiment using paranormal techniques of ages past. Also, that fussy Professor Hardacre suggests that the cottage is haunted. Good place to start my experiments. Okay. Let's head back to the cottage. Start an investigation. So this is where it all starts. So that little gift I hadn't sent is the start of this whole thing. And like even even this bit, the little just a little seance and scrying we're about to do. I just, I don't know, I just find it really fun. It's unique, like I said, it's, it's unique to this game. I, I haven't seen another game like this, so. Ooh, that's, that's ominous. Let's do it. Nothing ventured. So the electrics, the electrics do work, huh? That's creepy. Why is that there? Okay. And we start scrying. So here's our mirror. And the water we got earlier. Let's do it.
Is there anybody there? Can you see me? What's your name? Can I help you in some way? I think it's at this moment, Jen. Is there something you want to tell me? Am I? Am I in danger? Am I? Am I in danger? Can you hear me? Hmm. Nothing. The event seems to have passed. And that was it. That's our first bit of ghost hunting, guys. Alright, so now we need to conduct a seance. I remember seeing a teacup in the living room here. So... Oh look, there's a candle there too, it's almost too perfect. Alright. Um, Is, Is there anybody there? Am I alone in this place? Show me you are here. Show me you are here. Oh, I love this. Okay. Um. Are you trapped? Are you trapped in this place? Activity. Can I help you in some way? What's your name? What's your name? Is there something you want to tell me? Is there something you want to tell me? Hmm. Nothing. The event seems to have passed for now. Okay, so that's our first seance. Whew. What else do we need to do? So, tick that off, tick that off. Does the place have any cold spots? Atmospherics. Alright. That wall, there wasn't something quite right about it. Let's have a look. Secret door. I love secret doors. There's something about this wall. Oh, the air smells rank, like rotten flesh. Don't think I can do anything with it. Ugh. Okay. May as well just check every room while we're here. We'll check the kitchen again. The other pages appear to be blank. That's very odd. Oh yeah, I can look here too. Rest after I've finished investigating. Okay, what else we got? Atmospheric. Hmm. 
atmospheric cold spots. Done the seance, we did the scrying, we've been in the bathroom, we've been in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, you know what? I wonder. Ah. Sounds like something. Code maybe. Is there anybody there? said the traveller, knocking on the moonlit door. And his horse in the silence champed the grasses and the forest's ferny floor. And a bird flew up out of the turret above the traveller's head. And he smote upon the door again in the second time. Is there anybody there? That is creepy. Actually, I haven't heard that before. <coughs> Not in its entirety, anyway. Ooh. Traveller knocking on the door. I'm the Wanderer. Oh god, it's a prophecy. You know what? That mannequin wasn't there before. I'm sure it wasn't there before. I don't know what else to do. On the screen, conducted a seance. We have a few atmospherics, we have a creepy phone call, we've got the hallway. Is there anywhere else, I wonder? Oh, yeah, who's that old woman on the beach? How do I find that out? Maybe I didn't do the seance properly. Can I help you? Can I help you in some way? Nothing there. Are you trapped in this place? Show me you are here. Show me you are here. I shall leave you in peace. Not sure what else to do. Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. The event seems to have passed for now. Because I don't think, from memory, I don't think we can actually find anything out about the old woman on the beach. Um, I don't know where to go from here. We still have the water bottle, maybe we can scry again. Nothing ventured. Turn the light. Let's have a quick look see over here again. The 
event seems to have passed for now. The tub? What? Is that here? That was not there before. Is that here? It's just muck in there. It looks like it looks like a lot of hair. Oh, you know what? Is it Christine? He's the uh, Edward's wife. Her hair started thinning. That's something. Sometimes you just hit a wall. So the electricity does work in here. I don't know what they're talking about. Out of bed this time. Okay. Must just have registered something when I clicked it the first time. I did get those cutscenes though. That's it. I think I'm going to end the first episode here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. We just spent our first night in Saxon. Um, yeah, if I rambled on a bit, sorry. New to all this, this is actually the first time I've actually recorded ever. So just bear with me. Um, like I said, Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed spending the night in Saxon with you guys, and I hope to see you again for episode two. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs>